Hi Taurus, this is your mid-month October 2021 reading. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for mid-month October 2021 in love. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for mid-month October 2021 in love universal energies show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for mid-month October 2021 in love show me you guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Taurus. Taurus, this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you. Taurus, this is you. This is your partner. So, Taurus, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For mid-month, October 2021, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Taurus, is the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or message of it. So, Taurus, some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitments. Clarify the page of pentacles for Taurus and their partner. Clarify the page of pentacles for Taurus and their partner. Clarify the page of pentacles for Taurus and their partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the Apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So listen, Taurus. You know, this can be about some type of news about practicality concerning family here or the home. Taurus, listen, this can be some news about going into some type of commitment. However, Taurus and tarot tens are ending. So it could be an ending to a commitment, marriage, living together situation, family dynamics. And this is the news of the commitment here. We'll see. Taurus, you have the four of pentacles. You have the sun. You have the page of wands your partner has the seven of wands your partner has the ten of wands 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 and your partner has the ten of cups ten of cups yeah ten of cups so taurus the mutual point of interest and in what's on both you guys' minds is this could concern some type of practicality with the household Money, assets, resources, property here, okay? But Taurus, listen, you know, this can be, you know, news about going into a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain. However, in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to this commitment, marriage, living together, situation, family, dynamics, and maybe this is the news of it. 
Taurus, you have the four of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coins, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So, Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. Could be holding on to your coins, maybe saving your money or being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest. Clarify the four of pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the four of pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the four of pentacles for Taurus. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking your truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So Taurus, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. So Taurus, listen, you could be being confronted and you're kind of closed off, not opening up, not answering their questions. Taurus, you know, there could be a confrontation happening here because someone kept something close to their chest, a secret, or a confrontation happening over someone being stingy with these coins. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. It is clarified with the Ace of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. Taurus, listen. Hmm. Darling, listen. Now, someone here, may, well, your partner may want to start new. And you're closed off and maybe they're confronting you about it. But Taurus, is it that someone kept something close to their chest concerning new love? And did someone keep something close to their chest concerning this blessing, which could be money? But this blessing in tarot, this brand new blessing could be a baby, some type of family dynamics here, okay? We'll see. So some type of... Uh, Ace of Cups situation is causing some type of confrontation. Is it money? Someone being stingy? Is it someone keeping something close to their chest concerning having new love here or a baby? Taurus, you have the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo. But the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo. Now, Taurus, you can tell me that you're happy. Mm -hmm. Or you're telling me that something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Taurus. Clarify the sun for Taurus. Clarify the sun for Taurus. It is clarified with the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So Taurus, listen, something could have been illuminated and there's this rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or Taurus, what has been illuminated is the fact that someone is out being a player, getting cookies somewhere with new love and is being confronted about it. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Taurus. It is clarified with the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters. Moving away to a place of peace. 
So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now, this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree. Letting bygones be bygones. And moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So, Taurus, listen. You know, you can tell me that something was illuminated. Something came to light and there was a rushing in, going off, going ham, passionately with a heated discussion or argument or confrontation. And at this point, you might just want to put it behind you and move away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or you're saying you just want to move out, move on and move away from the relationship. But Taurus, you could also tell me that it was illuminated that someone was out being a player, getting cookies somewhere. Having new love here, something that they kept a secret that is being illuminated. And you're just wanting to move out, move on and move away from the relationship. So, Taurus, you have the page of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea. The news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. Now, Taurus, I know you guys aren't in the mood to send each other passionate messages. I mean, you could be trying to make up here. Yeah. But Taurus, you could have had this heated discussion or argument here. Okay. Or this is all happening because someone found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion out, being a player with another other lover, a new love. Clarify the page of wands for Taurus. Clarify the page of wands for Taurus. Clarify the page of wands for Taurus. It is clarified with the queen of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, Taurus, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands is someone who is highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with this fire sign or you're wanting to take action or things are kind of explosive and fiery here. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Taurus. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So, brand new, passionate beginnings here. Taurus, listen to me. The only way... That I can see us, you know, I'm you and this is the partner. The only way I can see us starting this passionate new beginning is if we're, you're happy, we're making up and that's the best part and we're putting it behind us. But you got to remember there was some type of confrontation taking place. Now, is it over blessings, money, assets, resources, property here? And the fact that someone was holding back, being stingy with the coins or something, and we're just making up the best way that we kind of know how is just to make up here, Taurus. Or Taurus, listen, when we're dealing with the Ace of Wands, this can be passionate communication, romantic passion, but also a heated discussion or argument. So are we arguing here, arguing here? Like, is it so fiery and explosive here because we having this rushing in, going off, going hand passionately with a heated discussion or argument here? And Taurus, if we're having an argument, yes, it can be over a blessing, but it could also be over new love, something that someone kept a secret that was illuminated here. Now, is it that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion, starting a passionate new beginning here? Are you dealing with a fire sign, a Sag? Oh boy, listen, Taurus, listen. <clears throat> Let's hope no one would keep 
money from home or to take care of responsibilities in the home. But Taurus, something is going on here that may affect the stability that you guys have, okay? I'm just going to say it may affect the stability. Whether that is dealing with practicality, money, assets, resources, property, or whether it's dealing with you guys' commitment, okay? Let's just say that. Taurus, your partner has a seven of wands. Aries, Leora, Sag. This is your partner being defensive. They're on the defense. But this can also speak to your partner being put in a position where they're having to defend themselves against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. Now, this can be your partner shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So your partner could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and they're giving their defense or excuse here. So Taurus, listen, your partner could be standoffish, shunning, and setting boundaries with you. Or your partner is wanting to explain because they're being accused of something here, okay? Maybe giving their explanation or excuse or a defense here. Clarify the seven of wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the seven of wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the seven of wands for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the four of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So, Taurus, is it that your partner is trying to come in and defend themselves and save you guys' this commitment here? Or is it that your partner is, like, against whatever this commitment is or kind of, like, putting, not putting you out, like, shunning you from the home? Are you actually physically moving? Is this news about the home itself, Taurus? Because you guys having this argument, is it over money? Is it over someone having new love out being a player, starting a passionate new beginning? Taurus, your partner has a ten of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. Something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your partner's shoulders. Something is a burden here for your partner. Now, this is a 10, so this is an ending. This is your partner wanting to release a burden. So, Taurus, something is difficult for your partner. It's heavy, it's burdensome. However, they could be releasing. Clarify the 10 of wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Taurus's partner. Taurus, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the Seven of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options. But all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions. But having many options. So, Taurus, listen, your partner's saying that what's a burden is the fact that there was lies or illusions, or it's burdensome because someone had other options and explored some of those other options. Taurus, your partner could feel like you had the options and they're kind of just standoffish and shunning you, or Taurus, your partner themselves had these options. <sighs> And maybe they're releasing it and letting them options go and wanting to come back and explain here so that they can save you guys' commitment here. See, I don't know what's going on. It could be vice versa, Taurus. Like I said, Taurus, listen. There is a confrontation happening over this new love, okay? My thing is, are you closed off to this partner not, ask, not answering their questions when you're being confronted? Did you keep this secret here, Taurus, and you're being confronted concerning you having this new love? 
or Taurus, is it that your partner is wanting to start over and trying to come in and explain something here, just trying to lay it all out on the table, you know, trying to set the record straight here, but you're not wanting to hear it. So I can't say who's at fault here. You're going to have to tell me. This could also be just a heated argument taking place over some type of blessing. And it could be dealing with the finances in this home or something. I, I, you're just going to have to tell me. Taurus, your partner has a ten of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. Ten, ten, ten. Three tens on the board. And Taurus, is it about commitment here? Or is it about this home, actually? And someone like, you know, I want you to leave. Clarify the Ten of Cups. For Taurus's partner. Clarify the Ten of Cups. For Taurus's partner. Clarify the Ten of Cups. For Taurus's partner. Three of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up. Making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved. But this can also speak to your partner being willing to work on it or put in the work. Now, Taurus, listen. Your partner could tell me that you guys' this commitment, marriage, living together, situation, family, dynamics... The news of you guys' commitment may be ending here because there was a third party, Taurus. However, Taurus, your partner may want to work on things here. And this is what I was saying. They may want to come in and explain and save you guys' commitment or stability here. Trying to set the record straight, wanting to start new, Taurus. And maybe you're just closed off to it. Taurus, let me ask, did you guys have some type of agreement or a contract? Because this can be an agreement, contract, collaboration here concerning the household. That's why I say, is it about like financial responsibility for the household or something, Taurus? You're going to have to tell me, Taurus, this is your mid-month October 2021 reading. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.